I just want to speak to you about in 1980. You were part of uh, the release Mandela campaign. You were also part of his release as well as uh, him being instated as president. Yeah. Just yeah. take me through that. Okay, so uh, I was recruited to the ANC. I, in, I tried to burn my school down in 1977. I went to jail on about six occasions, five, six occasions. Um, solitary confinement, you know, all that stuff. Um, but in 1980, I was part of a group of people who organized the 1980 schools boycott. And at the same time, it was the 30th, uh, the 25th anniversary of the Freedom Charter. And it was the, uh, a, and it, the release Mandela campaign started. And we spread leaflets across the Western Cape, uh, calling for the release of Mandela and uh, commemorating the Freedom Charter. And I think uh, in prison in 1980, I was recruited to the ANC by Henny Ferris, who had been on Robben Island, and Johnny Issel. And uh, then later, we've, I was part of groups of young people who formed the Mitchell's Plain Youth Movement, uh, Belleville Youth Movement, uh, Burkup Youth Movement, which then became the Cape Youth Congress, and later uh, the South African Youth Congress, and then we were became the ANC Youth League. Okay, so let's just get a little <laughs> bit back to your statement yeah. about you being the first person to sue Madiba. All right, so then comes 1994. Well, I didn't, we didn't sue him, we sued uh, his government. Um, so then comes 1994, and one of the important things was I was in the National Coalition for Gay and Lesbian Equality. And uh, the National Coalition for Gay and Lesbian Equality, um, the, uh, the laws criminalize sex between men. And we had hoped that the Justice Ministry, which was very interesting because Minister Dalla Umar, who I have the greatest respect for, he was a brilliant human being, a decent human being. And Minister Dalla Umar was the Justice Minister and he promised to decriminalize sodomy. But he had enormous pressure from Pagad and the Islamic fundamentalists on him. So um, what happened instead was we ended up suing the Justice Minister and the Police Minister. And the police minister chose to come onto our side, and the justice minister decided to go ahead, but eventually also came over to our side. And we won in the constitutional court. But I think the people who sued Madiba for the wrong reasons were the pharmaceutical companies. Um, people will remember now that Bill Clinton is a great friend of Madiba. But they won't remember that Bill Clinton was the first person, the first president, to put South Africa on a sanctions watch list because Madiba and Kosozana Dlamini Zuma had tried to make medicines affordable mm -hmm. in South Africa. And 39 drug companies, European and American drug companies, sued the South African government. First, the first respondent was Mandela, second respondent, the health minister, Kosozana Dlamini Zuma. And so Bill Clinton put us on a sanctions watch list on behalf of the pharmaceutical industry. And so people couldn't afford medicines. And of course, I had HIV, I was working in the AIDS law project with my colleagues Mark Haywood um, and uh, Mona Cornell and uh, Edwin Cameron, who became the first judge Madiba appointed. And when we formed the treatment action campaign in 1998, there were three things we wanted. The first was, was a simple treatment plan to treat opportunistic infections, not ARVs. Second was a mother-to-child prevention plan. And the third was supporting the government against the drug prices, the drug companies, to make ARVs, antiretrovirals, affordable.